Now, before we get started on the training, I want to review with you the top 10 reasons why consultants should consider using the Energy Gold Rush 5-minute video. So, here are the first five reasons as to why the Energy Gold Rush system is so advantageous to use. First, it's great for people with a large sphere of influence who have limited time. Think business professionals, people who own businesses, doctors, and so on. These are folks who have very demanding careers, as well as many of them are married, have children, so they have personal responsibilities as well. So free time is at a premium for these people. But they know so many folks, and they have a large sphere of influence. So the Energy Gold Rush system allows them to still build an ambit business and do it quickly without having to expend a lot of their time. The second reason it's advantageous is handicapped or homebound individuals don't have to depend on rides to physically meet with prospects. This now levels the playing field for folks who just have uh, are physically incapable of getting out as, as much as other people are to be able to meet with people face to face. The third reason allows brand new consultants to get off to a fast start and trigger jumpstart bonuses within their first week. You know, if you're on a limited time schedule, then you're constricted by the number of hours you have to be able to go out and show the plan. And for many people, they can only get to one or two people a week. Well, think of how a five-minute video system and a few phone calls can get your business in front of 20 or 30 people in that first week. It's also fully duplicatable throughout your entire organization. Now, instead of it being personality driven where one or two people are exceptional at showing the plan but others are not, now everyone uses the same system. So it's no longer driven off of what one or two people have the ability to do, but now everyone is on the same level playing field. And then finally, it makes it easier for people in non ambit states to grow their business. We have consultants that are all over the United States in virtually every state in the Union. And many of these states are not open yet. Some of them may not open for a very long time. But being able to market into the territories that are open makes it easy for these folks to build their business even though they are not physically present in an ambit area. Additionally, it keeps you from running all over doing face-to-face -face business presentations. If you're busy, if you fit in any of the categories that I've already mentioned, you know, if you've only got maybe three, four, five hours a week to do this business, by the time you're done calling some folks on the phone and following up with others who've seen a presentation, you may only have time to do one or two face-to-face -face business presentations. That's another reason why I love this system. We can be showing this to 20 or 30 people in a week and never leaving the house or never leaving your job. So the system is working for you while you're living your life doing your professional duties or your, or your household duties. It's also, again, a systems-driven business rather than a personality-driven business. And here's what I mean by that. There are some people who are very good showing the plan one-on-one. -on -one. And so when they sit down with somebody, they just have a very engaging personality and are able to sponsor a lot of people, probably a higher percentage than most people. I know my wife and I fit into that uh, particular category, but the challenge is if we have that personality and very few other people on our team do, then everything falls on us to be running around and doing presentations for everyone. So your business really isn't growing unless someone is there with that personality doing the presentation for you. This removes all of that. It is a system that anyone can do, and as, as a result, since anyone can assimilate into it very quickly, it allows all consultants to get off to a fast start and continue to drive their business without depending on any one personality. There's also no more confusion about whether to gather customers first or recruit. This has always been a really big problem. People would go through the trainings and on the old six-step trainings and they would say to me and to my wife and to all of the leaders, all right, I, I see what to do, I see how to gather customers and I see how to recruit, but how do I determine who do I talk to to be a customer and who do I talk to to recruit and which one do I do first? And one of the things that we found was that if people focused on customer gathering up front, they had a tendency to continue to customer gathering without recruiting because it was easier. And then also we'd have the reverse side where people would recruit but they weren't gathering any customers and weren't triggering any bonuses. The beauty of the 5-Minute Energy Gold Rush video system is the system itself, the video, 
is segregating these people for you. So you're showing it to everyone and then following up with a very simple phone call with a very simple question, which we'll be reviewing here shortly. It also allows you, like I was mentioning earlier, you're going through a large number of people in a short period of time. All you're doing is sorting in this business. And that's faster than any other system that I've ever seen and it allows you to promote sooner. You see, the thing in this business is not to get hung up on who's going to do it or who's not. You're going to have some people who you think are going to be wonderful at this and they want nothing to do with it. And then you're going to have other people who you think, oh, they're just going to want to be a customer and all of a sudden they surprise you and they want to be a consultant. We've seen everything in the last four plus years we've been in this business. So I can tell you the best part about this business is just being able to sort through a large number of people in a shorter period of time. And then finally, reason number 10 is it'll help you fast track to regional consultant in less than 30 days. And if you're brand new, which you probably are watching this, all that means is if you promote to regional consultant in less than 30 days, you will earn the Fast Track Regional Consultant PIN. That is a PIN that designates that you did something most people do not, and that is you were able to get to regional consultant in 30 days. And the reason we like to fast track our consultants to regional is we like to see you get paid, and we like to see you get paid well, and we like to see you position yourself for starting to receive all of those downline override bonuses in the consultant leadership bonus program. So using the Energy Gold Rush system to fast track to regional consultant makes a lot of sense. Now before we get started, here's what I want you to remember. Speed is your strategy here. I don't want you to think you have to sit down and figure out a way to do this business. It's already been solved for you. In fact, Ambit has paid out hundreds of millions of dollars in commissions in the last several years to consultants. And it's because of systems like this, ones that have already been tested and proven, that they've been able to do that. So all you need to do is plug into this system, learn it by heart, use it each and every day, and you'll have the same kind of success many, many other consultants have had. So let's talk about step one in your action plan and how to promote in 30 days what we call fast tracking to regional consultant. The first step in this business or any business is writing out why you're doing this business. You know, I always tell new consultants, anyone can be taught how to do something, but very few people know why they're doing it. In fact, you know, if you've ever talked to somebody who's worked someplace for 40 years and it seems like they've been miserable the whole time, they can't really tell you why they've worked there other than it was the first job I got and I just stayed, which is a horrible reason for doing anything. So we always tell new consultants, you have to get in touch with why you're doing this because your ability to emotionally connect yourself and others to your reason for doing this business goes a long way in helping you build a very large and successful business in Ambit. So sit down over the next few minutes and write out why you're doing this business. It can be more than just one thing. Maybe you're you know, sending little Bobby off to college or maybe little Susie needs braces or you know, maybe it's you, you live in a neighborhood and you wish you lived somewhere else and you want to be able to send your kids to a better school. Lots of different reasons like that. I would stay away from I want a new Ferrari or I'd like to travel the world and never work again. People that you know will have a hard time connecting to that. So try and stay right in with things that emotionally connect you to them and them to your goals. Then the next thing you want to do is make a list of 50 to 100 people that you know uh, that you can write down very quickly. People that maybe you work with, people your friends, your family, folks that you have in your cell phone or on your email list or in your social media. You want to get them all down, written down, and you want contact information for them, not emails. We're not going to be sending anybody an email. We're not going to be doing any kind of social media posts. Uh, everything we teach you to do is going to be a phone call to somebody that you know. So you'll want to have at least 50 to 100 people on your list. And then your weekly goal is going to get 30 people to watch the five minute video. As we've already said, the five minute video has a lot of advantages. And one of them is getting a large number of people in a short period of time to be able to go through and watch these videos. So your weekly goal is 30 people. And then broken down on a daily goal, it's contacting 10 people with urgency and excitement. So really, this system, the plan that we have written out here, is really only you working three days a week. 
so for a couple of hours so anybody can really do this type of a system where you're sending people to a five minute video and then following up with them to see what they thought so here's the invitation these are the two scripts that i would suggest using in fact while you're on this screen you can either take a screen capture of this um, or just pause the video right here and write these down whatever you'd like to do but also know that uh, this is also in our training manual that's available on our website at www.clarkinternationalgroup.com under the section consultant training and don't worry if you didn't write that down you'll see it at the very end of this presentation the link will be there for you so the invitations are pretty simple we have one for people that you're very familiar with and maybe one for people that you're not so familiar with you know the first one for people you're familiar with Hey, Bob, I need your feedback on a new business I've started. Can you give me five minutes and let me know what you think? It's really important to me. Or, Bob, I need a favor. I just put up a five-minute video online for my new business, and I'm looking to get a lot of visits to my site to increase my search engine ranking. I don't care if you're interested or not. I just need you to watch it for five minutes and give me your feedback. Can you do that for me today? See, what we're asking people to do is to help us. And generally most people are willing to help when asked for a favor and that's the reason why we've constructed these scripts my wife and i have used these uh, to get people to go to the website and we've taught many people to use these to get people to go to their website they're very simple and you can choose either one that makes sense to you some of the best advice i can give you is to avoid the valley of death you know and there's a really popular saying in Ambit, the more you say, the less you make. Your goal is to invite people to view the presentation and schedule a callback. You do not want to verbally give them a presentation. And yes, I'm talking about everybody you know, even your close friend from college, or your mom or dad, or your brother or sister, or your best friend that you've lived next door to for 30 years. You don't want to give them too much information. It's not that you're trying to hide things from them, again, all you're trying to do is get them to lower their defenses to watch this presentation without any preconceived notions. All right, the next thing you want to do is schedule a callback. And you're, during this first phone call with the person is you're trying to find out when you can get back with them after they're going to watch this five-minute video. And this is a very important step. And the reason it's an important step is if you send somebody the five-minute video, but you don't tell them when you're going to talk to them, or you just tell them, hey, you know, call me when you're ready, or I'll call you in a few days, or something like this, I can promise you they're not going to watch that five-minute video. And even if they do, they're usually not going to get through it or not remember it. So you've really got to nail down a time. So that's why we start with, as soon as they're saying that they're willing to watch, you say, when's a good time to call you back today to get your feedback? Because I want to know when they're going to watch it. Listen, everybody's got five minutes in their schedule to be able to squeeze this in. So I really, I, I'll be honest with you, if they're friends, I'll even make them feel guilty if they tell me they don't have five minutes. You know, you may have some people right here say, well, why don't you just tell me about it? I'll tell you, you know what? The five-minute video will do it a lot faster than I'm able to do it, and I don't want to waste your time or mine, so I just need you to watch it. So when's a good time to call you back today to get your feedback? And say, okay, I'll put that in my calendar. I'll send you a text reminder with the five-minute video link and our appointment time. Very important here. Do not email this information. Text it. And here's why. There's a lot of people who don't check their personal email on a regular basis. In fact, a lot of people who use email all day long at work do not want to check email when they come home. So as a result, they may not check their email until sometime next week. But studies have shown that if you text information to someone, they will usually act on that information very quickly. So it is highly likely that even though someone said to you they can watch that five minute video tonight at eight o'clock, they may actually watch it right after you text them and that's okay. But just make sure you're sending them the text with the link and the appointment time. It's important because you want them to see Here's the link that I need you to watch, and here's when I'm going to be calling you back. I normally would say that if you're if they're going to watch it, say like at eight o'clock, you give them a ten minute window, call them at eight ten. So if they say I'll uh, you know I'll watch it at eight thirty, that would be eight forty. Always add like you know another five minutes on top of it, just in case they get a late start. And then finally, I say look, no worries if this isn't for you. I just appreciate you taking a look at it. Again, you're trying to lower the defenses and just ask them 
to take a look at this, you're not asking them for any decisions at all. Uh, but make sure that you call them when you say you're going to call them. And this can be a real problem if you don't manage your time well. That you told somebody you'd call them at like, you know, 8, 10, 8, 15, and then it's close to 9 o'clock, and then you remember, ooh, I forgot to call them. You have to manage your time here well. And I, everybody that uses this system effectively is good at managing their time. Now, not all of them were good at managing time when they came into this, but they learned how to manage their time. If you're a little weak in that area, please get with one of your team leaders or with my wife and I, and we'll show you how to be a better time manager when you're dealing with this system. All right, so let's talk about a callback where you've called at the time you said you were going to call, but the person's not there. They're not answering. First, let me tell you, you got to have the right mindset about this. It does not mean the person is avoiding you. Uh, it does not mean that they don't want to talk to you or they're not interested. It may mean that something else has come up that they've had to prioritize overtaking this call. And guys, there's a million things that can happen, and there's always stuff going on in people's lives you're not aware of. So don't take this personally at all. Leave them a short message. Hi, John. As promised, I'm giving you a call back at 6 o'clock regarding my five-minute video. I just want to get your feedback. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a call back later tonight around 8.30. And then click and you're done. Keep it short, sweet, and to the point. Don't leave them a two-minute message going on and on and on. Keep it short and to the point. And remember, if you call them back later that day, I normally do not call somebody more than twice in a day because then it sounds like you're stalking them and you're desperate. Don't do that. Call them back one more time. Uh, if it's later in the day, call them back the following day to do a follow-up. You'd be surprised. There may be some times where you don't hear from somebody for a day or two. They're just tied up doing other things. Give them a little space and you know leave them a short video or a short message maybe once again somewhere you know a day or two later, and then give them time to call you back. So here's a callback where somebody answers. Hey John, I promise I'm giving you a call back at 7:10 tonight. Did you get a chance to check out my video? Now, I always start out with that question, why? Because he may not have watched the video yet. Again, you put it on your calendar and you texted him. Maybe you texted him earlier in the day to ask him to watch this. And he just got caught up with stuff, didn't write it down, forgot all about it. Things are going crazy in his life. So he didn't watch it, okay? Or maybe he did. So let's look at both responses here for a minute. Let's look at the no. He says, I have not had a chance to watch it. Then I'll ask, hey, do you have internet access right now? Go to, and this is our website here, guys, uh, ronandkimclark.com. And, and just for those of you who may not have an Energy Gold Rush site, you are free to use ours. Uh, the Energy Gold Rush sites are only $10 a month. And if you refer three people to them that use them each and every month, you'll get yours for free. But to start your business, if you'd like to use ours, please feel free to use it. And plus, a number of your leaders and team leaders will have their own websites. If they prefer you to use theirs, please do so. Don't think under any circumstances that this is a, a system that you have to buy right away. And we have no financial interest in this at all. This is a separate system, the Energy Gold Rush system, that was created uh, by folks that are in Ambit. But it is not an Ambit uh, corporate video that's produced. It was produced by cons some consultants. And these are consultants that my wife and I have gotten to know really well over the last few years uh, from using this system. So, again, their heart is just to cover their own costs. And so, if you don't want to invest in your own system right away, please feel free to use ours. We want to make sure everybody knows that. So, if somebody has internet access, you know, you have internet access right now, I'd like you to go to my website. They may not be able to go right now. And if that's the case, then you'll reset another appointment for them to watch and say, hey, can you watch it tomorrow for me? And, uh, you know, what's a good time for you? All you're trying to do is lead them towards an appointment. And I always emphasize, if somebody has not watched it, I always emphasize how important it is to me. Say, John, you know, this is really important to me. You'd be helping me out by increasing my search engine ranking. Um, or you'd be helping me out by doing me a favor because I really value your opinion and your feedback on this. Can you spare those five minutes and watch it for me and then I'll call you back and then you just set a date and a time. Now, if they did watch it, this is a great question to ask. It leads people to one of two decisions, both of which work in your favor. What made the most sense to you? Saving money and getting free energy or making money and getting free energy? The thing I love about this is 
I'm asking them in a roundabout way if they want to be a customer or if they want to be a consultant. That five minute video shows them a lot of information. And right there, it allows them, like I referred to earlier, it allows them to make the decision of what they want to do. Do they want to be a customer? Or do they want to be a consultant? The one thing I will tell you is there are going to be some people that you're going to pursue for being a consultant and all they want to be is a customer. You have to learn not to push too hard and to be grateful for them for wanting to be a customer. Again, it's a timing issue and some people, it just may not be the right time for them to want to be a consultant with you. So accept them as a customer. I always make people feel like, you know, wow, that is phenomenal. I want them to feel like, you know, they walk on water because they're being my customer. I want them to know how special it is. Even if I was pursuing them to be a consultant and they decided only to be a customer, I never want them to sense like I'm disappointed. And so that's really important is just let them decide for themselves what they want to be. And remember, you need customers, guys. You'll see that in our training manual, why customers are so important. They trigger bonuses, they create residual income for us. So I'm ecstatic when somebody wants to be a consultant or a customer, it doesn't matter to me. Something else to remember too, a customer today can be a consultant tomorrow. We're living proof of that. We have customers who were brand new customers when we first came into this business who in our our executive consultant code decided to become consultants. So they're worth more to us now than they were when we first came in. So as we look back on our business, we're grateful that they only wanted to be customers back then and are now building large businesses in our executive consultant code. So ask that question, what made the most sense to you, saving money and getting free energy or making money and getting free energy? That's important. Now, one of the things that you might get right there is, you know, tell me more about this free energy program or tell me more about the making money side or tell me more about how you make money at this business. Any questions like that that should lead you right to the 16 minute video. Now again, the 5 minute energy gold rush system is a sorting system. It's not meant to get everyone to join you in this business. It's meant to keep you from wasting your time with traveling all over the place to find out if somebody's interested. It allows you to do this when you're off doing something else and they're watching the video. But when you call them back and they've watched the 5 minute video, if they say that they like the money making option, then they're pretty much telling you they like what they've seen so far and they'd like more information. So if they like the money making option, just tell them, great, then go back to my five minute video uh, website and fill in the for short form on the left. And the information just goes to us or my business partner. You're not gonna get any spam, fill that out. And then it's gonna take you onto the longer video. So, you know, this way they're able to skip that five minute video. They don't have to watch it all again. It will be playing while they fill out the short form. But if they fill out that form and click submit, it'll automatically take them on to the longer video, which will explain more information to them. Now let's talk about the three-way call that I referred to earlier. The three-way call is basically just a call with you and your prospect to a more experienced consultant. It is a system we use all the time. In fact, there's no one in this business that's making any money without using the three-way call. Let me tell you why three-way calls are so important. The three-way call is important because people that you know, know that you're not an energy expert. They know that you don't know a whole lot about this. So if you attempt to answer their questions, number one, if you're brand new, you may answer them wrong. And number two, it, what you're gonna give people the impression that they need to know a lot about the energy business before they can get started. And for most times, and I've seen people who wanna sound smart and answer everybody's questions themselves, they'll sit in front of a prospect that, that's just like eating out of the palm of their hand. This guy loves everything they saw, and he's ready to get started. He's firing questions at you. You're answering them all without doing a three-way call. And at the end of all the questions, he looks at you and says, you know what, I don't think this is for me. And you're sitting there perplexed, wondering, well, wait a minute, you, you know, he seems so interested. And I answered all his questions, I don't understand this. I can tell you, I do understand it, because here's what happened. 
you made him think by answering all his questions that he's going to need to learn all of that information too. And if he's got a busy life at work and a busy life at home, the first thing that's going to come to his mind is, I just don't have the time for this. Most likely, he's not going to tell you that. He's just going to use it as an excuse to, to move on. I, I don't think this is for me. Thanks for coming in, but I'm not interested. That's why a three-way call is so important. Because now you're calling somebody that is going to answer all the questions for you who is an expert in this business. And so you're always going to use a three-way call when they're watching the 16-minute video, which is a follow-up to the five-minute video that you started with. Remember, the five-minute video is a sorting tool. It's sorting people who either aren't interested or people who want to be a customer, and you'll just stop right there with the five-minute video. But then you'll have those people who are interested in knowing more, and you'll be directing them to the 16-minute follow-up video that we just discussed. What you're going to want to do is have a group text ready for people who are above you on your team or folks that your team leaders have assigned you to being able to call for three-way calls. And you're going to want to send a text message to all of them to see who's, who's available uh, while your prospect is watching that video uh, over the next 15 to 16 minutes. At the end of the video, once you know who your three-way call expert is going to be, they'll usually text you back. And, and, and just as a side note, guys, you want to group text a lot of people, especially if you're doing this presentation or this callback on weeknights, Monday through Thursday, um, say between 7 and 9 o'clock, because a lot of leaders are uh, tied up in meetings and so forth. So that's why you want to send that group text out to a large number of people. And again, your team leaders will tell you the folks that you can use for uh, the three-way calls. Now, at the end of the video, after somebody's watched it and you call them back, Use a very simple question. No small talk, no, hey, what did you like best, blah, blah, blah. Just ask a simple question. Are you ready to get started or do you have questions? Okay, so here's how you do the three-way call segue. After they've watched the 16-minute video, and you have to confirm when you call them back that they actually did watch the video. Hey, did you have a chance to watch that whole video? They're probably going to have questions, okay? Because you asked them that that question already. Uh, are you ready to get started or do you still have questions? 99% of the people are going to have questions. Now, 1% are going to say, no, I don't have any questions. I'm ready to get started. If you run into somebody like that, and we do run into those folks, that you know, they can make a decision quickly, especially, you know, when it's free to get in or the price is very low, uh, when there are different special uh, promotions going on. Uh, if they're ready to get started right away, Hold off on doing the three-way call until you get them signed up. And then you can make the three-way call really as just an introduction call to, you know, their new business partner who's that three-way call expert they're going to be able to use too. Uh, and that person will answer all their questions when they get on. But you always want to strike while the iron's hot. Get them signed up first, then do the three-way call. But primarily, 99% of the people, as I said, are going to have questions and so when they say, yeah, I have a few questions, you can stop them right there saying, well, great, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce you to my business partner. His name is, and then whoever that third-party uh, expert is going to be, the three-way call expert, put their name in there, and he's going to answer or she's going to answer any questions you might have. Now, you're going to give a little credibility about that person right here, right now. Um, you're going to save the majority of the credibility for when you get them on the phone because you want to make sure they're hearing you introduce them to your business partner and your business partner is being, I'm sorry, and your potential business partner is being introduced to them. So, to give a little bit of credibility about this person at first is might say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to get you on the phone with Ray Monty. Ray's been in the business for uh, going on over eight years and he's won all kinds of awards with Ambit which I'll go into in a little more detail but I'd love to hear his answers or, uh, to your questions and then start dialing the phone do not ask permission to do the three-way call this is your business you do the three-way call Pro usually you won't get a lot of pushback here because if they've watched the five-minute video and they've watched the 16-minute video they're really interested. People usually don't go that far without being highly interested, and they're willing to get their questions answered. So, from this point, you're going to call your three-way call expert on the phone. 
You've confirmed that your prospect has watched the 16 minute video. And now when you do the three way call, you're gonna fully edify the person that you're bringing on the phone. I'm gonna explain this more here in a minute of the things that you're gonna say. Once you edify them and once you introduce your three-way call expert to your prospect and your prospect to your three-way call expert, giving your three-way call expert enough information about your prospect to find some common ground, you need to mute your phone and you need to be completely quiet. You do not want to talk. You do not want to throw some things out there. Your three-way call expert will know when to bring you back onto the line. Until then, be quiet and here's the reason why. If you get real chatty on there and you start talking and you're interrupting your three-way call expert, you are removing all credibility you have extended to this person and pulled the rug out from underneath them. So please be quiet. And if you're not sure how to use a three-way call on your phone, please get with the uh, whatever manufacturer that makes your phone. You can go on to the search engine online to Google or Yahoo and it will explain to you how to do a three-way call with your phone. So let's talk about how to edify your three-way call expert. You got to list qualities that show they walk on water both personally and professionally. Why? It's not because somebody's ego needs to be stroked. It's because the person that you're talking to, that prospect, knows you. But they don't know this person that you're introducing them to from Adam. So you need to make sure that you're giving them enough details to warrant listening to this person and believing the answers that they're being given. So, give details on personal life. If your prospect is married with small children, it'd be great to have somebody on there that's married and has kids and understands what it's like to run a business uh, with Ambit and be raising a family at the same time. Professional life. Primarily, what my wife and I try to do is try to match up professions and genders. So if I have a woman who's a CPA, I'm going to darn sure try to find somebody who is a CPA in Ambit uh, who is a lady uh, and can relate to this person. So I'm trying to match genders and professional lives as much as I possibly can. Again, the more common ground you give to your three-way call expert and your prospect, the better. So, and again, you want to have all the details on this uh, three-way call expert that you can get. All you need to do with all these folks is, is either text them and you'll have their phone numbers. Your team leaders will give you the phone numbers and the names of the people you can use for three-way calls. Get with your team leader to get that information and then text these three-way call experts ahead of time. And all these are are other consultants who've had some success in Ambit. Send them a text, tell them who you are, tell them whose team you're on, and that you'd like to use them as a three-way call, and you'd like to know how they'd like to be introduced. And they will send you many times their information, or they'll send you to ambitsuccess.com. It's a website that Ambit has where you can go on and click on consultant profiles and enter in somebody's last name, and it'll give you all the information that you need about them, both professionally and personally, most of the time, and with their Ambit accolades. Uh, don't shortchange somebody on their successes, and here's why. The more you can say about your third-party expert, the better. Because, again, your prospect's going to think, wow, this person walk, walks on water and I'm going to have a chance to get to work with this guy. So, you know, proper edification sounds something like this. Bob, I want to introduce you to my friend John. John's been personally helping me in my Ambit business. John and his wife are from Wilmington, Delaware. They have three small children. John is a CPA and his wife is a dentist. Uh, but they still saw Ambit as a way to create a secondary income for themselves. In Ambit, they've been around for two and a half years. They are executive consultants building a huge business. Uh, they've been on a five-star trip with Ambit, which is a very prestigious award. They've also won a Pure Energy Award at the National Convention. Uh, they've got over a thousand consultants on our team and thousands and thousands of customers. Uh, there's very little they don't know about Ambit, so uh, I want to introduce you to my friend John. And John, this is my friend Bob. I know him uh, for many years. We work together. We're also on the bowling league at work together. Uh, and John's married, and he's also got three small children. So John, this is Bob. Bob, this is John. 
And at that point is where you want to be quiet, mute your phone, and let your three-way call expert take over and work with your prospect. And your three-way call expert will lead them towards a decision. They'll answer their questions. Now sometimes, even though the prospect may have asked you a few questions before you got on to the three-way call, sometimes the prospect will freeze up. They, they just they don't remember all of their questions, and that's okay. What the third-party expert is going to do, the three-way call expert, is going to share their story about what happened to them, why they got in. And a lot of times by sharing their story, they're giving that prospect time to think of some questions, and it normally will trigger additional questions by listening to their story. Um, and so if you need more bios, again, go on to abbotsuccess.com or text the consultants that you're asking to be your third-party experts for three-way calls or you can go on our website, ClarkInternationalGroup.com. You'll see that link here at the end as well uh, under Consultant Training. We have the bios of several people on our team and several people outside of our team as well. Let's move on to the close. And the close is very simple. We're just asking somebody to make a decision. And normally, if Kim or I are doing the three-way call for you, we'll lead someone towards the close. But if someone else is doing the close for you, I'm not always sure that they will do it close. So this is what you want to be prepared to do. And again, this is what Kim and I will ask, but we want you to ask as well. And it's a very simple question. What makes the most sense to you? Saving money and earning free energy or making money and earning free energy? Let them decide whether they want to be a customer or a consultant and then sign them up. One cautionary note here is, is when you do ask that question, regardless of what they decide they want to be, don't sound disappointed if they just want to be a customer. Remember, this is for people for whom this is the right thing to be doing and nobody else. So I want you to be as excited about getting a customer as you are getting a consultant. Because somewhere down the line, if that customer, even though they're not ready to get in right now, Somewhere down the line, they may decide they really like the service and change their mind. And I can tell you, there are plenty of people on my team who we signed up as customers in our MCR, CNSC code, who later on became consultants in our EC code. So, that's the brief overview of the system we use to gather customers and consultants. Your final step will be to print out our training manual. The training manual can be found at ClarkInternationalGroup.com by clicking on Consultant Training and then looking for the manual as a PDF download that's right underneath in this training section. So on behalf of my wife, Kim, everybody on our team, we want to thank you for joining Ambit and being part of our Ambit family. We look forward to meeting and talking to you very soon.